Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting problem today. 3 to the power m minus 2 to the n equal to 1. We need to find, we need to solve our n and n. Of course, a lot of students can solve it by inspection. They think that they can easily find the answer in, in their head, but we need to solve it correctly, step by step, and we need to find a correct solution to this problem. So first of all, we need to know a definition about modular arithmetic. So modular arithmetic means recycling of integers when they reach a fixed value. For example, if we have integers a, b and n, we can easily write it as a equal to b mod, mod n. So it, we can read it as a is conjugate to b module n, yeah? So if a minus b is a multiplier, for example, like we have like 38 equal to 14 modulo, module 12, because 38 minus 14 equal to 24. And 24 can be written as 2 times 12. This is really interesting notes for me because we need these notes in our case. So let's find a solution to our problem. So solution. Yeah, so for this question, we can solve it by finding all solution and proving there's no others. Yeah, so we have this question, 3 to the power m minus 2 to the n equal to equal to 1. Yeah. So first we observe that m and n are positive integers, yeah? Because we have like positive on the right hand side. So signs we have like two to the n is greater than zero, then three to the m equal to two to the n plus one. If we bring this to the right hand side, so from here is greater than one as well. So m is greater than, m is greater than zero. So this is the first step that we need to to start with, we need to mention that m is greater than zero. So m is a positive integers and three to the m, of course, this also is a positive integers because m is positive integers, is a positive, this is a positive integers as well. So two to the m equal to three to the m minus one. So if we bring this two to the n on the right hand side and uh, one on the left hand side, so this is an integer, then n has to be a non-negative integers. So a negative power of two is a proper fraction, yeah? So moreover, n is not equal to zero. If n is equal to zero, we will have like, if n is equal to zero, we will have like three to the m equal to two, which is absolutely impossible, yeah? So n is not equal to zero, and if n equal to zero, we will have like three to the m equal to two, which is absolutely impossible. So both m and n are positive integers. This is the first step. So the second step. We noted that m equal to n equal to 1 is a solution, yeah? Because we have like 3 minus 2 equal to 1 is a solution, is a, a solution. This is our really interesting moment right here, is a solution. Now let's assume that n is, let's assume that n is greater than 1. If n is greater than 1, then we will have like 2 to the n equal to 0 mode, mode 4, because 2 to the power n minus 0 equal to 4, or read, can be written as 2 times 2. Yeah, and from here we have that 3 to the power m equal to 2 to the power n plus 1, which is equal to 1 mode modulo module 4, yeah? So m equal to 2k, so we can easily write it as m equal to 2k, so m equal to 2k, where k is a positive integer, of course, is a positive integer, yeah? And now we have like two to the n equal to three to the power two k minus one. So let's factor in it because we can write it as one square. So we will have like two to the n equal to three to the k plus one and three to the k minus one, yeah? So the integers 3 to the k plus 1 and 3 to the k minus 1 are both positive integers of 2. And they are the second part, yeah? So the only possible, the only possibility is when we have like 3 to the power k minus 1 equal to 2 and 3 to the power k plus 1 equal to 4, yeah? This is the only possibilities because we have like k equal to 1 from here. So k equal to 1. So if we plug in this k equal to 1 right here, I guess we had a substitution, yeah? We have this k, where can we find this k? We have like, yeah, m equal to 2k. So right here we have like m equal to 2 
and n equal to 3. This is also our solution to this problem. So a lot of students solve it by inspection and they say, okay, our answer is, our answer is m equal to 1 and n equal to 1, but also solution will be m equal to 2 and n equal to, equal to 3. I know a, lo a, a little bit complicated, maybe explanation, but this is our modular arithmetic and we need to know a little bit about it. And I hope you understand this step. If you don't understand, write a question in comment. I try to help everyone with this explanation. Maybe you find your approach. This will be like really interesting to read about it. And of course, write your note about this explanation. It will be really interesting to read about it. And thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.